Hey guys, this is Joey the Gym Junkie, and I want to welcome you to episode 7 of Critical Shock. Today we're going to discuss two topics, body types and how to create thickness in your back. The first body type is ectomorph. These guys are typically slender, longer muscles, taller, easier time burning fat, but they have a harder time putting on mass. The second type is the mesomorph. These guys are usually the premier physique guys. They have really good wide shoulders, typically a narrow waist, they're able to create a, a better V taper. And then we have the endomorphs, which are guys like myself that have a wider shoulder base, a wider hip base. We're gonna have a hard time burning fat, but an easier time putting on muscle. Now, the first exercise I'm gonna go ahead and get into is this T-bar variation that I use with the hammer string. When I see beginner lifters ask me, hey, what do you do to get that cobra, that cobra thick back, those huge lats? I tell them, well, it's kind of a balance between doing vertical motions and horizontal motions. I can't tell you how many beginner lifters I see focus primarily on lat pull downs and pull ups. And well, that's great, that's gonna add a really wide back, but when you turn to the side, if you're a physique competitor, or even just aesthetically, you're gonna lack that thickness between your chest and your outer back. And it kind of turns into like, I kind of make fun of guys like a butterfly because it looks super wide, but then when they turn, it's like super narrow. Now the second way you can create this is getting good stretches in between your heavy lifts. I am a constant stretcher. Every single time between my heavy lifts, you're gonna see me pull up, stretch my lats out as far as I can. Make sure I get all those fine little tears throughout my heavy movements. And that's gonna play a part with creating a lot more muscle. Because you gotta remember, it's nice to be able to create the strength, but a lot of times you wanna get the thickness. And the thickness is gonna come from creating, make it, forcing that muscle to grow and adapt to the strain that you're doing it. Now you remember the positive motion is gonna help increase your strength, the negatives are gonna help increase the thickness. Now, another little tip that you can go ahead and add your T-bar rows is if you look right here, I'm actually having my wrist and my elbows in the same plane of the motion. You wouldn't believe how many guys I see grab the weight too low or too high, and what happens is you create a lot more momentum because you're using a lot more biceps and a lot more forearms. And you'll notice because you'll start feeling like, ah, my biceps are getting a little bit more taxed before my back does. It's hard to really isolate your lats. You really need a full range of motion and a very hard contraction. We all hear, you know, I'm sure you've heard me talk about mind and muscle connection. <sighs> becomes really important with lats, and it takes a lot of years to develop that. Been really fortunate to be able to have a really good thick back. I went from wrestling, football, into jujitsu, so that's maybe a reason why my lats and my traps have always had an easier time growing than a lot of other people. Or it could be the fact that I'm an endomorph. Either or, I wanted to go ahead and break this down for you guys, especially you ectomorphs that are having a hard time adding that thickness. Control the weight in the positive, eliminate momentum in your negative, really focus on your contraction, and make sure you puff your chest up. That way you can get more range of motion with your lats. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Joey the Gym Junkie, and I'm out! Oh yeah, it's going in good! Woo! Woo! Where's the beat?